Yeah, and we got something different for y'all. This is a 6x6 RC truck, and uh, we're going to give this a good run here. We're going to do a uh, speed run down there, and then uh, we'll take this off-road and see how it performs. So what we are going to do first, we are going to turn this on. On, off, switch underneath here. And uh, we will turn this on. And then we will just, yep, we got power. All right, cool. So let's give it a look with it on. It's pretty cool. It has LEDs up here, LEDs up here. Um, as you can see, the suspension moves, all of them move pretty independently. Um, if that goes up too high, it looks like it might get caught up in there. But it uh, should be all right. So we're going to give this a run down the road. We're also going to turn this on and see if we could get a close view of it. And we'll toggle through our modes here. It should be good. We're going to place this right in the back of it and straighten her out. And we are going to start recording. And it wants me to format. I guess I should have done this before I came out. All right. Should be good now. Yep, we are good. So let's give this a run, see what type of speed it has. Yep, we are good. So let's give this a run, see what type of speed it has. Okay. Does not have a lot of speed. It is. Okay. Does not have a lot of speed, and it is drifting. Just a little bit. I guess it has a little bit of speed. Not a lot though. Okay, so it's drifting that way. There is a drift here. So this is a steering trim. So we're gonna adjust this this way and see if we've corrected that. I'm gonna back it up and try to adjust it some more. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down here. Pretty neat, um, really touchy, the joystick, not the joystick, the wheel on this is pretty touchy. But uh, it says six by six, so let's see if all six of these wheels are moving. All six of the wheels are moving. So uh, maybe we'll take this off road and see if it has climbing abilities. In my drone flying field, which is also a nice terrain to drive a RC vehicle, we're just going to give this a little run around. Bam, no problem going over that. That's cool. Um, not really sure if this is waterproof. Hmm. Why not, right? Bam. Well, so far, so good. Going over that brush, no problems, which is pretty cool. We're actually tied up in uh, some fishing line from one of my tests <laughs> with that uh, SEMA drone that was flying away. I guess uh, we left some fishing line out here. Let's see. All right. Nope. It's attached on one of these wheels. Let's see. Good job, J Drone. See if you would have cleaned up your mess. Nice. This is tangled up pretty good. Alright. I apologize for the delay in testing here. But uh, we don't want to screw this up because of a fishing line from a past test. 
Come on. I don't got a knife on me. This might just pull apart. Let's see. Nope. Um, great. I'm uh, a little tied up here. So that's over there. Yeah, that's on one well now. Here we go. Maybe. Good job, Jay Drone. Leaving fishing line out here. Pieces here. Let's get that under there. Get this under there. We're making progress. I apologize again for this. And we got one more axle to get the wire from. One more. Here we go. Bam! We're free. Don't go back over there. <laughs> so, I'm gonna continue going here. Come over these rocks. Damn, no problem. No problem. No problem. Cool. Over the brush, no problem. Damn. Damn. That's what I like to see. That's cool. We stuck? Nope. Alright, so we're going to set the camera up here. Give you a little uh, down perspective. is right here actually we'll back up a little bit going over brush like a champ mr. mark bam bam Oh no, pretty cool. Um, we'll take it down a little bit further. Bam, rolled over, what? Still good to go. We'll take it down a little bit further and uh, try to go up something a little bit higher. Oh, I wasn't even recording. That's nice. Turning radius isn't real tight, but then again, we are uh, dealing with six wheels. All right, we're going to go down a little bit further and try something else. We have a higher grade that we can climb and also in uh, sand and whatnot. So we'll go over here. Because again, if you buy this, you definitely want to know it works. I mean, you can see we got mud splattered all up in it. Um, didn't have an issue going through the water. But uh, if you actually want to crawl up something, I mean, stuff like this, little rocks and whatnot, I'm sure it has no problem with, but we'll test it. high center oh there we go bam so yeah it has no problem going over rocks like that and this is the area I kind of wanted to test it yeah digging up 
I like how it goes over that brush. Whoop, back up. I'm kind of staring with one hand here. Just because I have my camera in the other hand. So we're going to put it right here. Let's see if it can go up that. And maybe we will put our camera back down. Woo, easy there, buddy. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, we will set the camera right here. This should be a good perspective for it. And uh, see if it'll go up it. Here we go. Here we go. What? No problems. That's that's cool. What? No problems. That's that's cool. That is really cool. Um. Like it didn't even have to crawl up it, it just tromped right up. We'll go up over here. Woo, rolled it. Can we flip it? Flip, flip. Not able to flip, just digging in. Come on. Nope, just digging in. Yeah, and them tires good and dirty. I'm gonna try to go up over that rock right there. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely a keeper. Get stuck on that brush. Nope. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go up and over. As you can see, my uh, driving skills with an RC car isn't superb. Um, we are definitely drone related, but uh, I do have fun doing this. We are going to see if we can navigate this back up this way. Come on. And again, steering radius on this isn't awesome, but it's not bad. Come on, go back. Really? We're stuck. Maybe the battery's just about done. If the battery's just about done, that wasn't a great, uh, wasn't great drive time. Yeah, I'm thinking the battery's just about done. We'll stop this. Yeah, battery's just about done. So, um, not really long drive time. The battery in this is pretty small too, which uh, I was definitely surprised of. I thought I'd definitely see a larger battery in this but um all things considering it does i guess what it's advertised to it is definitely not fast um it definitely can crawl though and not even crawl it just moved right up i guess with these six wheels moved right up this no problems over any of the rocks and whatnot over the sand no issues brush thoroughly impressed look at this brush like it went over all this brush <laughs> the brush stands taller than it I mean, for something to go over that and not get caught in its wheels, that's pretty impressive because I've had a lot of crawlers out here and a lot of cars out here, and the brush has been the main hiccup. Small rocks and whatnot, not too much of a problem, but the brush definitely has been a main hiccup, and this thing eats brush, so that's definitely a positive. I mean, again, brush. We went over this brush, no problem, and here, we'll put the hat cam down. Look at that brush. <laughs> Like, the brush is tall. It's no joke. And this had no issues going over it. All right, guys. I'm Jay Drum. Just something different for y'all to check out. Uh, I'll put the link down in the bottom. Uh, if you're looking for something fast, probably not what you're not going to be what you're looking for. If you're looking for something different, definitely different. Um, crawl over brush. We got that. Go up inclines. Not even crawl. Go up. Directly up. No issues. So, uh, all right. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Have a wonderful day.